Preview with Adam and Jay. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. And today we're going to react, review, and riff off of the brand new sci fi slash Beatles movie. Anthology music? Sure. Movie? Not sure what it is. No, we don't know what Yesterday. It Apparently, no one remembers the Beatles except one guy. Wait, really? Is that what it's about? Yeah, that's what it's about. Some, oh. Somehow, some, some sci fi thing happens, and then no one remembers the <coughs> Beatles, but one person remembers the Beatles. That's all we know. Okay. I'm in. Let's do it. This was my last gig. If it has happened by now, it's like a miracle. Miracles happen. What happened? Oh. Electricity flicked off all over the world. Cheese! <laughs> Yesterday. Ellie bought you a present. Oh, my troubles seem wow. so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Oh Why did you write that? I didn't write it. Paul McCartney wrote it. The Beatles. Who? John, Paul, George and Ringo, the Beatles. No, stop it. Yesterday, it's one of the greatest songs ever written. Well, it's not Coldplay. It's not Fix You. Do you genuinely not know who the Beatles are? Genuinely. Then I'm in a really, really, really complicated situation. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Sorry, I'm just listening to Jack's new song. What's this one called? Uh, leave it be. Let it be. Well, rock on, Jack. Oh, yeah. Tell you something. <laughs> I wanna hold your hand. Hi. We should talk. See, we pay and you write songs and then you make a ton of money. And then we take most of it. The one, the only, Jack Mallet. We would like you to write something right now. Something in the way. She moves. No one's ever written this many great songs. How do you do it? Tracks me like no other lover. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like someone else has written all the songs. Hey, Jude. I've been waiting half my life for you to wake up and love me. But I'm a school teacher and you are the world's greatest singer songwriter. I'm not. Except for you are. It's going to be the greatest album of all time. I've got two men who claim that the songs are theirs. Let's see how this plays out, shall we? There's something you should know. Please make some noise for Mr. Jack Mallet. Let me just give you this advice. Song title. Hey, dude. Hey, dude, are you sure? Hey, dude. That's so much better. Do -de -do -de -do -de. Hey, that was a good Nickelodeon show. You shut your mouth. I'm blown away by this. Yeah, that's... That's an extremely clever premise. Like... You know why? You know why this is... I think this is going to do really well. Do you know why? Because most... Everybody... When they listen to music, they think about like, oh, what if I wrote this song? Don't you do that? Yep, kind of. I mean, yeah. it's kind of, do I, I wish I had the musical talent to sing this song, mostly. Fair enough. But the next thing is, yes. Yeah. Like, what if this was my song? Like, what if I, like, Hop Tub Time Machine did that, where they, like, went back in time, <laughs> and he, wrote, he was, like, writing all those songs? <laughs> yeah. Because he just got them first. I think about it all the time. I'm do like, you? Oh, what if I, like... Yeah, like, what if this was my song? This could be my song. I was like, this is on brand for me. Sure. Yeah. So Okay, well, then that, that begs the question, Jay. Uh-huh. So, not the Beatles, because we just saw that, right? But if... Oh. If somebody... If, you, if somebody... If the world forgot another band, and you remembered them, who would it be? Now, are we talking from a perspective, like, if I could... Uh, we're just... We're working under the assumption that I can play an instrument. 
Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Because I can't. Which is good for this guy for re learning the whole oeuvre of the Beatles to be able to re replay, or come up with all the. Because there's no she he can't go back to refer to anything. It's all from memory. So good for him for learning all of it before it all happened. Yeah, but I'm sure like if you had like if you like sat down in a room and like had to remember a Beatles song. Uh, well, I mean, you, I could. You could. Like, you could probably figure it sure. out. That, that for, that's like Dave Matthews for me. It's like, I can probably figure out Dave Matthews' band. Yeah. It's just, you know, just nine minutes of jamming. Uh, <laughs> wow. Now, are we, are we talking uh, a band that I could recreate their music because I could remember all of it? No, 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 no. Just, just, just pick a band. Just pick a band and that I you, can remember yeah, all you could have their entire oh, library in your brain oh, and man. just reap the benefit from the, ex exposing the world to them. Um, it'd be, uh, if I wanted to make like a ton of money yeah. and live like a cool, like mm -hmm. live a cool, like a rock star. Yep. Well, it's Queen, number one. There's Queen. <sighs> I think that's the, probably the best answer besides the Beatles. I think another really great answer, and oh, you make, I might get some haters for this one, Green Day. Oh! Yeah. Why would you get haters for Green Day? I don't know. I just feel like, I, I, I feel like they're, they're, they're a sine wave of a band. Sure. Sometimes they're mm -hmm. cool, and then it's like, oh, Green Day, and then it's like they're cool again, and then uh, I mean, good for them, and that's how it works. But yeah, I think like you, if you like, like that that opening bass line, like boom, 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 it's like that. Yeah, you could people be like, what is this? like if they didn't know, be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I think it's Queen. I think Queen wins. Yeah, I think Queen does win. God damn, that's a really that's a really really good answer. It's a really good answer. Yeah. Also, guys at home, let us know what you guys would do. You can't pick Queen. You can't pick the Beatles. What would be your band that you'd like to have all their music in your brain and usurp their place in history? What would I do? I don't know about as much music as you do. But it's got to be something. I mean, it's got to be like more classic rock type. Because they have, you know. Do you want to live that rock star life? Yeah, that rock star life. <sighs> really? You know what I think is another good one? Okay, what's that? Uh, the Who. Oh, the Who would be good. Yeah. Yeah. The Who would be real good. Who would be good? Maybe like uh, Billy Joel. He's had a. a ton oh of, yeah, yeah. A ton Billy of Joel hits. or Elton John. Elton John. Yeah, Elton, Elton John, John would be good. Yeah, he. Well, he. Yeah, dude was a hit machine, man. Like it just he the kid. Then you have Lion King under your belt too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it'd be good. That'd be really good. Yeah. I wonder how this movie ends though. Yeah, I don't know. Also, would you feel guilty? Because this seems like the, the the part of the crux of this, he he starts to feel really guilty about usurping the Beatles, I guess, in places in history. Would you feel bad at you finding yourself in this parallel dimension where they didn't exist? What are you gonna do? I mean, honestly, if it's a if it's a band like the Beatles, they gotta hear the music some one way or the other. Like it's too important. Their music's too important. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So like, I feel a little guilty for a while, but it'd be like as soon as it was it was like firmly like. They really don't know what's going on. It's like you just you you are just making the most out of the situation that was put in front of you. Yeah, that's the American way, baby. <laughs> well, as you're recreating Queen and just you know melting the faces. I don't know if I can sing it though. I can get close. Yeah, you can get close enough. They, they'll they'll never know the difference. The question is, would you copy uh, Freddie's on stage persona? No, or I think I'd have to do it my own way. You know, okay. I mean, yeah, I couldn't. I mean, I. Honestly, the amount of jumpsuits that guy wore, I don't think that would really complement the mm -hmm. the whole Jay Schmidt experience. But I could try. I'm going to uh, amend an I'm going to uh, supply another answer. Oh, Frank Sinatra. Uh, yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, but here's the thing about Frank Sinatra though: is that the majority of the stuff he sang, he sang a lot of standards. Oh, so, so he didn't he originals. didn't write those that music. Oh, he did. So I don't know if that would oh, not a lot. No, no. he oh. just sang songs. He didn't really write a lot of songs. He may have helped, but it was not a lot of it was old like yeah, it was old standard stuff. Hey, right. okay. Hey, everybody, look at that! I'm just ignorant of music. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, the, his style. Like, if he never existed, if you wanted to steal like his style of singing. He could probably pull it off. Sure. But he, yeah, he was more about, it was more about him the than it was about, yeah. The Rat Pack was like a thing, yeah. All right. Interesting. Well, what would you give, how would you rate the trailer for yesterday? Oh, 
That's Sorry, you, you went into the camera and I just assumed you were asking them because I was like, oh, we have well, well, I mean, they will also get the chance to answer down below uh, this later one's on. Getting, this one is getting a 7.84 out of 12 just bitten to those broken teeth. Them broken teeth. Yeah. That, that broken front tooth was there for a while and I was like, huh. I know they're like I know it's like a bit, but it's kind of upsetting. What if the broken tooth's the whole the key to everything? <sighs> oh, if he gets the teeth fixed and it like switches, maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, real quick, favorite Beatles song? If you had to pick one, <sighs> Golden Slumbers. Uh, guitar, Gently Weeps. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, Golden Slumbers that moves into uh, Carry That Weight from the White Album. Oh, no, it's Abbey. Is it from White? I think it's from Abbey Road. I think it's that. Oh, is it white up? Oh, shh. Mm, I'm upset right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, guys, uh, what band would you choose to relive their life? It's Abbey Road. Uh, okay. It's Abbey Road. Uh, let us know in the description below or how you would rate this trailer. Also, we'd also appreciate that. Or you can hop in our Discord channel where the link is down below. There's lots of fun, cool people talking about lots of fun, cool stuff. We'd love to have you there. The link is down there. Go check it out. Also, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Do that YouTube that you do so well. Guacamole's extra, James Corden. I see you. Trying to blow up his spot? How dare you? Yeah, that was How me. How dare you're, you? You're better than that, James Corden. You're better than that. Shouldn't you be in a car yeah. singing with him right now? Yeah. Instead of blowing up yeah. his spot? Carpool that karaoke, son. <laughs> Other videos about to pop up soon. Please watch those. We would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.